up guys? Today we're going to talk about how to do wheelies. And I'm out here practicing myself because I'm, I'm wanting to get better at them, right? And that's why you're here, to either A, know how to wheelie, or B, get better at them. And I'm gonna show you and tell you both. I know you, the internet, has an attention span of about seven and a half seconds. So I'll get into the meat and potatoes of what helped me learn how to wheelie. I could only throttle wheelie. I could only power wheelie. And that's clearly not what I wanted to do. And anytime I got to that balance point, I, my brain literally shut off and I would loop. And I had two good loops on my Honda Grom and I said, man, I'll, I'll never learn how to do them. But I got pretty determined one day and this is what I found that helped me the most. What I did is I would do this and I would hit the, hit, I would hit the rear brake. I'd pop it up, hit the rear brake. Came down pretty abrupt, yes, but that's what it took to build that muscle memory. Leave one foot on the ground, kind of a, a balance, right? Because it's hard to obviously put both feet on the pegs. Have that, I, I would pump the rear brake like so many times because it, it's, it's a muscle memory thing for me. So, right? And it's abrupt, like it's not very comfortable. And once I did that for about an hour, it was excruciating. I'd put both feet on the pegs, I'd kind of go at a pretty slow speed, pop it up, and I would go that high in rear brake. It's very comfortable to do that at a low speed and a low height. I'd clutch up, I'd stay in the gas, but then I'd ride the rear brake. I would get used to that feeling of coming up, using my rear foot, tapping that rear brake, and get used to the feeling of it coming back down. I'm still in the throttle, but I'm I'm forcing it to come down with the rear brake. Because if I would just, you know, let off the throttle and hit the rear brake like this, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna loop over, right? And you heard the rear tire lock up. As I got more comfortable, I would start to let off the rear brake mid wheelie. And I don't know if you heard the pitch change in the bike but you can hear me coming on and off the rear brake we're not to balance point right but we're using the rear brake and we're building the muscle memory because what's going to happen is as you get closer to that balance point you're you're, you're going to freak out because it's going to be so uncomfortable especially being if you never grew up riding bikes like me if you picked up your first bike was a sport bike which was me i had the opportunity to learn on a mini bike because i had one i've always had one but i never took the time to actually learn how to do it i would just i would do this the whole time and that's it i would ride it out i would never never build the memory or the discipline to use my right foot and that rear brake. If you're struggling, if you feel like you've hit a wall with your wheelies or you've crashed and you've looped and you don't know how to find that that learning curve of scary and not scary, you have got to take the time to do this. Pick it up, set it down. I wasn't even at balance point, right? But I could carry it by using the rear brake because you get here uh -huh, right you're just you slow down a whole lot the bike tips way up and depending on how fast or slow you're you're dropping the clutch fast how smooth or aggressive you are with bringing it up if it happens to snap up quicker than you expect it you've built that muscle memory to boop drop it down started doing them in second gear get to the appropriate speed it's going to be different for every bike but for the z it's around six grand and again you'd have to yank on the bar sit back on the seat not really do a bounce but kind of a you know a swing motion but see how 
much more smooth that is. I learned balance point in second gear. First gear, slow speed, I learned rear brake control. So right there on the rear brake the whole time. And I sort of got into the habit and I asked the old Rodney Sargent about this because I felt like even though I was on the throttle or on the rear brake, I was still on the throttle because I almost try to hold the throttle at a certain percentage and I try to use the rear brake to, you know, determine my balance point. So let's see if you can hear it. Off the rear brake, on the rear brake. I'm maintaining throttle and I'm just, I'm managing the pitch with the rear brake. I don't feel like that is the ingredient to the cleanest wheelie or the perfect wheelie as I would like to call it. But I feel like as a beginner, as a, a person who's learning wheelies, I feel like that is the safest way to do it. Build the most confidence the quickest. That's why I like second gear because I can let it come up. I can sort of catch it with the rear brake and start to ride it. And then I can let off the rear brake to boop, bring it up right where it's comfortable. What you can do is just get out there on the bike and put in the reps. You can set a timer, like look at your watch, look at your phone, set a timer for 30 minutes because I promise 30 minutes is going to feel like an hour. It's going to feel like it's so long because I noticed I'd get a lot of like, I'd get a lot of pressure on my wrist because of the impact coming back on the ground. I could pop the bike up and I could, I could stand it up. There we go. It's kind of a byproduct of me learning wheelies. A side sidebar on learning these wheelies is have fun with it, right? Don't take it too serious. Yeah, it's this is why we ride because we want to have fun. That's the main reason why anybody should be doing this, right? It's because they want to go out and have fun. Maybe pick up a few chicks or a few dudes, whatever you're into. That's cool. Doesn't bother me. Any other questions? comments, concerns, thoughts about learning how to wheelie, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them because guys, I was there too. I struggled and I still struggle. I can pop up a few, I can ride a few out, but I'm telling you, it's, you should always be learning, always strive to get better. So as always, thanks again for watching guys. Be safe practicing these wheelies. Most importantly, have fun and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.